Hi guys, I thought I would do today's intro from the outdoors because, I mean, look at this place. If you lived in the south of France, you should do all of your videos outdoors because it's freaking gorgeous. But having said that, I have so much more respect for vloggers now because my shoulder is burning. So I'm gonna have to make this quick. I have been doing interviews now for a few months and getting a lot of really awesome value from the girls that have sat down with me. But I was really inspired the other day because I saw a video by Still Moving Pictures of Dustin Watton. I'm sure you guys know who he is. He's the libero for the men's national team of USA. And it was such a moving depiction of his life as a volleyball player, living overseas, the dark times, the good times. It was really well done, really dramatic, drew some emotion. And I was so inspired and I thought to myself, those are the kind of videos I want to make. I want to tell stories. I want to get emotion out of players and be able to transfer that to you guys that are watching. I know I've got a long way to go to be anywhere close to that video, but I want to start trying. So this week's video is a little bit different than the ones I've usually been making, but I hope that's in a good way. So hope you guys enjoy. I was in fourth grade when I told my dad that I wanted to play NCAA volleyball. And my dad was like, well, you gotta work hard for that, honey. I visited Arkansas, and since I touched Arkansas, I was like, this is my place. My senior year for me was the best year of my life because I was able to really enjoy the whole thing. How I came as a 17-year-old, 18-year-old girl living by herself, not speaking any English, to becoming basically a grown woman. One of my most difficult times was uh, three years ago. It was a moment in my career that I was like, the most comfortable with myself, playing, confident and, and everything. And then I had an injury that I needed surgery. I had surgery in August and September came here Hurricane Maria. I wasn't able to have that first part of recovery, which is the most important part because of the Hurricane Maria, everything was closed, nobody was working. It was more like the surviving period with your family. So that recovery process passed to a second option during that time. I wasn't able to play in any league that year because the league in Puerto Rico also got uh, canceled. And that whole process of coming back like was really difficult in, in like confidence wise and uh, me feeling good about my body, me being able to perform, perform well during tough situations, so like I lost a lot of confidence in, in myself, in my game, and in everything, basically. It's disappointing in your life when you hit completely low and you're like, okay, no, like not anymore. I have to, I have to do whatever I have to do to get back up. So once I switched that mentality, everything like got way better. I was able to play and lose, I uh, was um, able to fully enjoy it and being comfortable with myself and and I, I, I think I used me lose like as a way to get my confidence back, you know, and, and to get in better shape, uh, mentally healthier and, and to fully like, take care of myself in, in, in terms of like injury, recovery, the gym, like the weight room and, and stuff like that. Having Jesse uh, is a huge plus in my life because he understands, he fully understands what we go through as a volleyball player since he's also a professional volleyball player. I found in him that peaceful that everything is gonna be okay and because it's just like 
me and him against the world, basically. I'm a firm believer in like in God's plan. There is something behind this that I need to learn for me to become better. Embrace every little step because sometimes those little steps are going to help you to achieve uh, something bigger in the future. So embrace the process, embrace uh, your way and, and, and see how it goes. <laughs>All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. It's a little bit different than the videos I've been making, but hopefully it's in a good way. I, as I said, I really just want to tell stories with a bit more emotion and a bit more realism. I want to show you the player behind the player, if that makes sense. So it goes a long way if you hit the like button, if you want to share it with anyone you know. And of course, as always, if you know someone that would make an awesome story, leave their name in the comments, hit me up on Instagram. And until next time, happy quarantine.